hello lovely people and welcome back to another video i know it has been a little while since i've done one so i'm really excited to be back this one is just going to focus a lot on classes and um work college life we'll go visit the sorority house in this video again as well i'll also talk and show a little bit about my what i usually do on the weekends to prepare for class with kind of just a bunch of cleaning and cooking and things like that to get ready for the week and then i'm going to go through just a day or two of classwork and studying before our fall break coming up and then i will get to go home and do lots of footage on the rabbits and family and being there in that environment so yeah just a few things that are coming in this video so stay tuned for that and let's get into it So depending on the weekend, I either do a routine on Saturday or Sunday to kind of prepare for the week. But if it's on Sunday, of course, church is first and then coming home to grab a bite to eat. And then I'll get started on either cleaning or cooking. Today was cleaning, so I've just spent some time to wipe down everything like doing dusting just to make sure all of the surfaces are clear of any kind of dust because that makes me really really get a lot of congestion if I don't maintain that so that just kind of helps and then just some other small chores like taking the dead leaves off of plants watering them and then also getting started on laundry sometimes obviously this has to be done multiple times a week but i definitely make sure to do a load on the weekends and then getting the vacuum cleaner out and just going over every surface on the floor and then i also really like to plan out the week whether that be classes or events assignments things that i have to do it just really helps get an overview of everything and then also doing a little bit of more journaling or writing down things that I need to remember. And then we get to get into the kitchen and start cooking. Usually I don't do a ton of meal prep. I just make a few things that could either be sides or proteins just to kind of throw together during the week. So this weekend I made things like uh, zucchini squash, red pepper, and I like to roast the squash and zucchini a lot. And then I also tried something new. I had never tried this before. I roasted some um, of these, which I normally do chickpeas, but I decided to try something different, put a little bit of seasoning on that, popped them in the oven for a little while, and they actually turned out really good. And then I did some fajita, red peppers, and onions. I also decided to make a soup this week, which is really nice to just have in the fridge for when you want a quick meal so I normally do a vegetable soup with things like tomatoes more zucchini carrots onion garlic and also I really like to put spinach in there but yeah campus is really really pretty right now it, the Sun is setting earlier since it's autumn and it also feels so good out here really like going on walks though at least every day because it kind of just helps you reset your mind from busy work and being on the computer all the time or in classes helps you get fresh air and right now the weather's super nice but can't do it as much in the winter time so trying to soak it in as much as possible good morning it is the next day we're gonna be super productive today um already been up for a few hours doing some just like regular morning routine stuff strength training breakfast um what else reading getting the day planned things like that so now we're going to take a walk and probably go walk to a coffee shop around here and get something and then start the studying today because i didn't realize how much stuff i had to do tomorrow which is a little bit of a problem so we're gonna be really productive today but i uh, just got here for the walk and there's a bunch of geese so we're gonna go see them i don't know i've never seen them in that field before usually there's just a bunch of groundhogs so that's kind of cool there's so many it's like being at a zoo. Uh. Oh. There's a groundhog right in the path. Oh my gosh. Let's see how close I can get to him. Uh. 
That's so funny. I did not know that they could climb trees. This guy's like off the ground. What? <sighs> Educational. once again guys it is yet the next day and today is the um, exam for statistics which I'm kind of really dreading but anyway we'll get that over with and then what else do we have today I'm trying to think um, oh yeah we have church so we'll go do that probably maybe pick up a friend um, we'll just have to see I know I say that all the time but I literally never know what is going to happen in a day so just take you along and then tomorrow going to get a facial for free which i've never ever had one so definitely need one so that will be a interesting experience tomorrow i got a free facial from sitting in the sun all day a couple weeks ago um, for a program slash event so that was kind of a nice payment so yeah a few fun things coming up but let's go try to not die through this exam so I realized that I didn't really uh, film anything yesterday just because it was such a busy day with that exam and then having to turn in a project and then go to church and things like that. So it was completely jam-packed, but it was a really productive day. So it was good. Um, but yeah, today is the free facial thing that I'm about to go to, that appointment in just a few minutes. And again, I've never had one done before, so I'm really, really interested to see how this is going to go and what it's going to be like because I have like zero expectations going in. I literally have no idea what one is like so I will definitely let you know <laughs> what I thought of it and how it went since it's my first time ever and I really hope that there's no secret cost or anything to this because they did say it was going to be free but yeah I'll let you know how it goes. You guys Now, some of you may know, usually I am not a bougie girl, but that, I will say, was really, really nice. It was like a mini spa treatment thing. Um, had you lay down on like this table and they put like a warm cloth over your face and did like the whole, I don't know what she was doing, like um, a bunch of moisturizers and lotions and like cleansing things. Felt amazing. I definitely enjoyed that so much. I also definitely know absolutely nothing about skin or skincare so she was able to really help me kind of figure out a few good tips on how to go about doing all of that type thing. I'm still like don't really know that much but at least she did help out a little bit. But yeah I really would you know not complain if I had a free facial like every month. There's bats or birds flying up there, but there's something. We're gonna go to the sorority house tonight, um, see some people. Just got done studying. They turned out the lights in that building I was in, so I guess they wanted us out, but I'm gonna go do that. It has been such a while since I've picked up the camera. Life has been crazy as always. And a lot of things, not necessarily have been happening because actually the past two weeks have been a little bit less busy than normal. I've just been completely lacking the motivation at all to video anything. So we'll start picking that back up today, which the next couple of days is right before our break. 
There is literally so much to get done within the next couple of days. It's going to be a little bit chaotic. So maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. But we have a research paper due tomorrow, which I honestly have not started yet. Well, okay, I started it a little bit, but I haven't really gotten anything written down. So I'm in trouble there, but I've just had a lot of, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to make any excuses. I just haven't done it and that needs to get done. So it's going to be challenging to write a research paper in less than two days, but it has been done before and it will get done again because there's no other option. I've been put in that situation by me, myself, and I, and I will need to fix that. Anyway, so we have that going on. We also have break coming up. We've got classes all day today, so I'm about to get ready to go start on those. I'll be going home soon, so I cannot wait to see the rabbits and also family, of course. <laughs> so that will be a nice break, but we just really need to power through the next two days. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and start packing my bag and get re getting ready for class because um, it's about that time and also somehow working on my research paper at the same time. I think I've decided I really want my research paper, not that you care, but I really want it to be on bones and we have to do a nutrition intervention slash treatment plan for a specific chronic disease. So I'll probably do like osteoporosis or something like that, but I have to find my primary research articles first and then do all of that. But I think that's what, that's the topic I want to do. Seems the most interesting to me at the moment. What happened to my paper today? I spilled water on it and was like, ooh, I've seen those things where like, people do, um, I guess like the color around it, an, uh, a water stain or a coffee stain, and I thought it looked really cool. So I need to start doing that with my notes, like purposefully spilling water or coffee on them and then doing that. first article right now it's looking like a lot of um, vitamin D calcium of course and also protein and overall nutritional intake related to osteoporosis and things like that I'm trying to find a specific nutrition intervention to focus on first so I definitely think I found my research studies and got an outline going but a lot of my peers are also behind so it makes me feel a little bit better We just got back from class and it's a lot less time than we were planning on for being able to work on the research paper because class went a little bit longer than we thought but that just means we got to crush it even more and it's going to be even more of a challenge because then tomorrow we have something literally all day long and then this is going to be due tomorrow night but don't really want to be doing it at midnight. So we got the research writing vibes going on right there but first before we get into that I did want to show you something I got. It was from um, it was from World Market, which is a super cool place to go. They have all kinds of different things, but let's see. These are clean. Where is it? It is this glorious golden spoon that I got from the World Market. <laughs> um, so it's just this random golden spoon, but I love it and I wanted to show. Another thing I got was, um, I think it's over here. Let's see. Yeah, so it is this like little bat um, silicone 
mold thing. I thought it was so cute because you can put either chocolate or something you want to mold. I thought about you could do cookie dough. Um, you could do pretty much anything that you make a mold out of. But they are so cute, just little bats. So I might do something for my sister's birthday with this. I uh, have not decided yet. And then for her actual birthday, since it is coming up, I'm super excited about that. I got her a gift from World Market. I guess I can go ahead and show it because she won't see this before. She loves corgis, so it's a little like corgi booty, <laughs> but it's a pin so she can put on her backpack. So what happened last night is I figured out that my research articles or case studies, whatever they are, were not going to work for the research paper. So I had to basically start over from ground zero. So <coughs> This is really going to be a research paper done in like 10 to 12 hours because of how behind I got. So a little bit of a setback, but it is the next day. Like I said, it's like woke up super early to work on some stuff, but we have somewhere we're supposed to be from seven to four today. So literally all day long is completely packed. So can't do anything. So it's a little bit stressful. So we're going to have to really cram in everything when we get back. So go do that today and then I will check back in later on the paper progress. It has been a really long day, but we are finally back and able to work on this research paper, which I, um, it is pretty much the final countdown because look, it's like almost 7.30. We have till 11.59 to get this thing all polished up and ready to go. So, um, right now I'm working on the journal articles. We're actually there like, um, studies and stuff like that. So we've got two right there, which are required. Um, I like to write everything out on blank sheets of paper in by section two of what the paper is organized by just because that's how my mind works i like to have things written out before i can put them on the computer which i know takes a little bit more time and effort but that's just how my brain works right now um so i already like got the introduction stuff done that's over there put away so i don't have to think about it anymore right now probably be working until 12. i mean 11 59 whatever my brain's not working right now <laughs> so i've decided this is the great opportunity to take you through a few steps on how to write a research paper in like a day maybe even less than that a few hours so here we go step one get you some popcorn because we're about to watch ourselves burn i was just kidding about that part we're not going to burn we're going to be successful um the first step you're going to want to do is definitely i feel like it's pretty obvious just read your assignment instructions and see what exactly you need to do Anyway, so after you have read the assignment instructions and kind of gotten situated in your writing place and all of that, you want to work on finding the sources that you need for your research. Thankfully for this research paper, um, I only have to have two, so I've already located those so that way it will feed into my topic. Then you're going to want to go ahead and start making your outline. Uh, it was given to me for this assignment, this specific outline, so I'm just going to fill in from there. But after you do your topic and then your sources, you're going to want to just basically write like the wind according to the rubric that was provided to you. Then put your references in there in whatever citation style it is required at and submit it. So I have only done like the first two steps of those, so um, the rest of it is pretty time consuming. But if I come across any tips while I'm writing or anything like that, I'll be sure to tune back in and share them. I was just going to talk about sources um, and doing your references. So you can, if you're doing a journal article, sometimes, especially if it's the National Library of Medicine, you can just click the cite button and then you can click the format you want and just copy and paste it. However, if you do that, 
I would suggest double checking the citation and AMA because you will probably have to make edits um, and correct things that it doesn't do right. Um, like my professor here has the examples and all that so I just checked it against the example and fixed what the citation machine didn't do correctly. But there are also other citation machines. I think there's like um, Purdue Owl. And you can look on their website and kind of get guides for different style citations and it also has a generator too, um, which might be of help. Also, if your institution has it, I would suggest using RefWorks because you can import your, like all of your references and stuff. This is just one that I did. And then you click on it after you've imported it and you can click create bibliography and pretty much put it in whatever style you want and it will give it to you. So that's super helpful as well. Good morning. It is the next day. So the research paper was able to get turned in, cutting it really, really close. I think I turned it in at like 1135, 1140 last night. Um, somehow got that done within like, I think it was only a total of six to eight hours. Not sure how that happened just by the pure grace of the Lord. Um, so uh, thankfully we've gotten that out of the way. So I will probably go ahead and end the video here, but I just wanted to thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you picked up a few tips on how to cram, write, or research paper. I do not recommend, but sometimes you do get into a little bit of a pinch and need to do things like that. Hopefully something was a little bit helpful. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you wish, and I will see you in the next video. Hey!